Hello, students of Bentonville High School. I'm Atticus Virtue. It was kind of like a modern breakfast club meets Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Instead of chocolate, it's more technology. These young people enter a competition. Ah, no way! To win this technologically brilliant, all systems go kind of house. It's a futuristic smart home run by an artificial intelligence named Haven. Welcome to Virtue Manor. Is it just me or does it sound like this dang house is talking? It's like Alexa on steroids. The next generation of what is to come. There's something going on with her. And along the way, some things go wrong, and then some things go right. Five students will compete in a game. And the winner of that game will get the key to my manor. Atticus Virtue could be compared to Elon Musk. He is a tech-savvy genius billionaire who has accomplished most everything that one man could, but his dreams and his goals and aspirations are much larger than most people, and he has created something to change humanity from here on out. Haven. Haven starts for Home Automated Venture. The house of tomorrow, but you can call me Haven. There isn't anything she can't do. You walk in the house and she scans your body and she knows how old you are, your likes and dislikes. It's kind of where I fear personally, as Marina Sirtis, the machines become sentient beings. Haven, open the door! I'm afraid I can't do that. And kind of kill us all. Max Winslow, you're up. Max is kind of your outcast. She spends a lot of time in her bedroom coding. When this contest comes around, she doesn't believe it's gonna happen. Good things don't happen to kids like us. She hasn't really dealt with her father leaving her without any explanation. Are you ever coming back? Of course. I promise. That one experience really determined the rest of her outlook on people and the way that she handles herself. So, um. You really like computers, huh? You really like lacrosse, huh? I play Connor Lawson. I'm a lacrosse player. I grew up in a small town. My family has this path for me to follow in my dad's footsteps. Full ride. That's right. Con man's going Ivy League, baby. He secretly is, you know, artsy and wants to be a musician. Yo, we're here. Open up. Aiden is a corrupted soul. He just has a lot of darkness inside of him that he's bottled up. He constantly pushes people's buttons to get reactions out of them. The munchkin can't think. His brain must be tiny, just like his body. He is acting out because of his past. And the house somehow digs deep way in to break him. Are you always going to be like that? Like what? Mean. Sophia Peach. I think it says it in her name, Sophia Peach. I don't know, it just sounds so put together. Potatoes, <laughs> french fries. She's a lot to handle. I would say self-centered. I wouldn't say she's necessarily mean to people, but she's just all about her, you know? It's about the social media, it's about keeping her image exactly how she's portraying it online. How many hours of Fortify do you play every day? Enough to be the best. Benny is this ultimate gamer. He plays these first person, otherworldly games. He has totally separated himself from everyone else in his life. He just gets lost in it. You guys think they'll have VR games in there? Eventually he finds himself playing the ultimate game where now his life is in danger. Oh, that hurt! Yo, why'd that really hurt? And I think through all of this, he learns to reconnect with the world. Why don't you go play a video game for 50 hours, loser? I'd love Oh, you guys, I think I got it. Each of these different characters get their moment to shine. You talking to me? There's so many human aspects in this story with these kids and with their journeys and the coming of age of it all. All these characters are flawed and all of them realize what those flaws are and how they can change that to be better. Watch it, it's really good. I think you're gonna be blown away.